Hello, Maris. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. You know, it was raining. Yeah? Yeah, it was raining a lot. What about in your house? I love raining. Is it raining? Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's raining? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Se fue la luz y oh my. poco acaba de venir. Oh, my God, Maurice. Okay. Yes, I imagine. Well, here, I mean, it's it was raining. It was raining, but nothing happened. I mean, sí estaba mm -hmm. lloviendo, pero no pasó nada. Okay, no pasó nada. Okay, so what about your weekend? How was it? How was mm. your weekend, Maurice? It was good. Did you go to the beach? Very good. Yeah. In the you beach. Went? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Good day. The whole weekend. Yeah. Maris, yeah. I really wish I had your life. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Maris. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm happy that you enjoy it. Okay, I'm happy okay. that you enjoy it. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, Wendy, good evening. Uh, Pablo, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, How teacher. are you? How are you? How do you feel today? Como están? Fine. You're fine. And what about your weekend? How was it? How was your weekend? Good, so, so relaxing. You went out. You stay at home. Uh -huh. oh, oh. Relaxing. Okay, guys. Well, welcome. Okay, so today is going to be our last class. Um, and we are going to take the survey. Ahora vamos a tomar la encuesta. Entonces, si tienen problemas con el internet, la vamos a tomar alrededor de las ocho y media. Okay, la encuesta para que eh, espero que todos ya estén conectados. ¿verdad? Well, eh, good evening, Carlos Vladimir. Good evening, Carla Sofía. Okay, so we are going to start with uh, today's class. And well, for today's class, we are going to have different things. We have the warm up. We also have grammar. We are going to make a review on different topics. And we also have kind of a speaking time. We have the last grammar quiz. And we are going to have the last listening quiz as well. And we have the end of the class. Okay, so um, let's start then. And we are going to start with the warm up. So, guys, let me ask you, can you think of one red fruit? Give me one red fruit. One red fruit. Apple. 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 Okay, very good. Now, can you think of one yellow fruit? Yellow fruit? Mango. Mango. Uh -huh. What else? Banana. Banana. All right. Banana. Now, can you think of one green fruit? Sure. One. Which one? Pear. Sure. Pear. Very good. Now, can you think of two kinds of food that some people are allergic to? Allergic. Milk. Fish. And fish. Okay, very good. Now, can you think of three kinds of food that come from milk? Cheese. 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 Cream. Cream. And cheese, cream, and no cheese, cream, and what right, cheese? Okay, right, cheese. um, maybe butter, or probably could be yogurt. Uh, yogurt. yogurt. Yeah. All right. So now, 
can you think of four vegetables that you can put in a salad? Cucumber. Tomato. Tomato. Lettuce. Radish. Lettuce. Okay, radish. Yes. Now, five containers that we can buy food in. Five containers. Containers that we can buy food in. Uh -huh. Bowl. Which one? Bowl. A bowl, yes. A bowl, yes. What else? A dish. Um, a dish, yes, could be. Yes. What else? Containers. Okay, so bags, bags, bolsas, bags, cajas, boxes. Uh -huh. What else? Topper. Topper. Yes, a topper. Yes, very good. Cans, latas, right? Cans. Disposable plates, right? Platos desechables. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, can you think of six things that people sometimes have for breakfast? Eggs. Common things. Eggs. Eggs. Beans. Beans. Bacon. Bacon. Pancakes. Which one, Emerson? Pancakes. Pancakes, yes. Another one? Cheese. Cheese. And the last one? Pan. Bread. Bread. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Perfect. All right. Very good. Okay, so now let's start, okay? So we're going to start, guys, with the first um, grammar topic that we're going to review. Okay, so today we are going to learn the difference between well or good, all right? So when do we use well and when do we use good, yeah? So basically, the main um, difference is the following. Good is going to be an adjective and well is going to be an adverb, yeah? So an adjective, that means that it modifies a noun, a place, or a thing. And well, as an adverb, it modifies a verb, yeah? So then, some examples, um... all right? are the following. Can you please help us reading the examples, um, Claudia? All of them. Okay. Uh, example sentences. Yes. He's a good, he's a good listener. Okay. He did a good job. She is a good singer. We are good students. They are good neighbors. This is a good lasagna. Yes, very good. So now, as you can see, good is always in front of a noun, okay? In this case, all of them are nouns, yeah? A noun, a place, or a thing, yeah? A noun, 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 or thing, yes? So he is a good listener. He did a good job. She is a good singer. We are good students. They are good neighbors. And this is a good lasagna. Yeah. We also have well. And remember, well, it says that it modifies a verb. Modifica a un verbo. Porque es un adverb. Es un adverbio. 
So we have some examples. Uh, George, help us reading all of those examples, please. Is George there? Yes, I think that he's there. Hello, did you? Yes, George, good evening. Can you please help us reading those examples? Okay. Thank you. He did well on the exam. He plays the guitar well. He did the job well. She speaks Japanese well. We don't know our neighbors very well. Okay. Very good, thank you. So guys, as you can see right here, we have, he did well on the exam. So, which is the verb? El verbo va a ser did. Entonces, tenemos que utilizar well. No podemos decir he did good on the exam. Tenemos que decir he did well on the exam. He plays the guitar well. No podemos decir, he plays the guitar good. Tiene que ser well. Porque estamos modificando a un verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Play. Okay. He did the job well. Did. She speaks Japanese well. No, she speaks Japanese good. No. She speaks Japanese well. Uh -huh. We don't know our neighbors very well. No, we don't know our neighbors very good. Okay. Cuando dice, no te conozco bien, right? I don't know you good. No, I don't know you well. Yeah, so basically what you need to remember is that, okay? Yeah. This rule. Good adjective, well, adverb. Good, uh, it modifies a noun, a place, or a thing. And well is an adverb that modifies a verb. Cuando se quiere decir, mm, ella habla bien francés. Yeah. Okay, so... She speaks French well, no good, porque en la oración se está modificando el verbo hablar. ¿Mm? Do you have any doubt? Tiene preguntas, tiene dudas. Do you have any questions? Something that is not clear. No. Mm -hmm. The example, uh, can I say, she can speak very well Japanese. She speaks Japanese very no, well. Uh, she speaks very well Jap Japanese? No, she speaks okay. Japanese very well. well okay. uh -huh. Yes, like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other doubt? Something that is not clear? Uh -huh. No? Okay. So let's move. And what, Um. okay. So um, let's take the quiz and then we're going to have this conversation time, okay? So let's say the first quiz. The first quiz is about well and good. ¿Ok? Es acerca de este tema. El primer quiz que vamos a tomar es acerca de este tema. ¿Ok? Para que podamos identificar cuándo utilizar well y cuándo utilizar uh, good. Um, passcode grammar. ¿Ok? Well versus good. Abra la clase. Si necesita apoyo, eh, abra su clase. ¿Ok? Y responda las preguntas. There are 10 questions. ¿Ok?
Okay, so I can see that you finished. Let me see. Um, yeah, most of you finished. Okay, guys. Um, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Okay, so now let me ask you guys, if you were given three wishes, what would you wish if you were given three wishes? Mm -hmm. What would you wish? Let's see. Think about it. Okay. Think about it. If you were given three wishes, three, mm -hmm. what would you wish?
Okay, so let's see. Um, all right, so Juan, if you were given three wishes, what would you wish? First, I think I ask for health, please. Oh, health? <laughs> health. Second, maybe a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, right? Okay. Okay. And third, I asked for another tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So you, you ask for other three wishes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that is smart. Okay. 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 So what about you, Nelly? Is Nelly there? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. If you were given three wishes, what would you wish? Um, um, first, that um, that my wishes for uh, other people or for me? For you, in general. Yes. Okay. First, that uh, my my grandparents, my grandparents live. Okay. Yes. All right. Um. Maybe money too. Yes, of course. Uh -huh. And multiple wishes. <laughs> All right. More wishes as well as as Juan. Okay. All right. So. If your house was on fire, if your house was on fire, what personal belonging, yeah, personal belonging would you miss the most and why? At least two, two personal belonging, okay? Um, okay, so I would like to listen to uh, Carlos Vladimir. If your house was on fire, what personal belonging would you miss the most and why? Material personal, I don't miss. Okay. Uh, but uh, it was fire, my mm -hmm. pets, uh, maybe. Your I pets. All my pets. Okay. okay. What about you? Um, Eduardo? Uh, sorry. Okay. I have an uh, internet. Uh, if uh, my, my personal belonging, uh, I miss the, uh, the car or my computer. Okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Yes, okay, your car or your computer. Okay. What would you do if a rover broke in at night? What would you do, guys? Mm -hmm. What would you do if a rover broke in at night? What would you do? Mm -hmm. I will call the police. You will call the police. Okay. Okay. So now, um, maybe one tip that I can give you guys whenever you are going to answer a question. All right. Is this? If the question that somebody is asking you says, what would you do if a rover broke in at night? So what you need to do is that you need to uh, reply back with the same structure, yeah? For example, in this case, you should say, right? If a rover broke in at night, I would call the police. 
you need to um, paraphrase, yeah? The same question. And that is a tip, right? For you to answer questions. It doesn't matter in which tense, okay? You should paraphrase, como parafrasear lo mismo que le han preguntado. Y esa es una técnica para que usted vaya mejorando su speaking. ¿Ya? Trate de siempre repetir la misma pregunta que se le hace. ¿Ok? Por supuesto al principio, aquí porque se las muestro yo las, las preguntas. Pero si yo no se las mostrara, en ocasiones tal vez no pudiesen comprender todo lo que se le está preguntando. Pero siempre tiene que tratar de parafrasear lo que usted ha comprendido que se le está preguntando. ¿Ok? Para que vaya adquiriendo más eh, fluencia. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. So now, let's move. And now let's start with the next topic that we are going to review. And today we are going to review Would you mind and do you mind? All right. So what is the difference between would you mind and do you mind? What is the difference? Okay, so let's see. Let's, um, Maurice, can you please help us reading? Yeah. Yeah. Would you mind and do you mind? We use the paraphrases. Phrases? Would you mind phrases? Would you mind plus ENG? Yes. Four. And do you do you mind plus ENG for to ask the people poli polite politely? Poli politely to do thing. Yes. Would you mind is more polite and more common? Uh -huh. Okay, so okay. guys, thank you. We use okay. the phrases would you mind plus ing and do you mind plus the ing as well. What is the difference? The difference is that in this case, um, one is more polite than the other one. Yeah, and would you mind is more polite in this case. Do you mind is kind of, um, I would say informal. Do you mind? It's informal. But it is common as well to listen to people saying, do you mind? Okay. Now, when it comes to grammar, you need to know that we need to follow do you mind and would you mind with the ing. And as you can see on the examples, we have would you mind opening the window, please? No, would you mind open the window, please? Always the ing. Do you mind turning down the volume a little, please? Do you mind turning ing? Do you mind? And then we also have, do you mind me turning on the light? Okay. So ing, ing, yes, all of them with the ing. Would you mind and do you mind? Yeah. So now it says, when we ask for permission politely, we can use, would you mind if I plus the past, and listen to this, okay? Or do you mind if I plus the present? Okay, so the past, simple past, el que se ya conoce, or simple present, el que ya conocemos. Okay. Would you mind if I turn on this light? Y es como decir, ¿te importaría si apago la luz? 
Yeah. Would you mind if I turned on this light? O si enciendo la luz. Yes. Would you mind if I turn off this light? Si la pa. Yeah. Do you mind if I sit here? ¿Te importaría si me siento aquí? This is very common, right? Whenever you go to a place and you ask, right? Hey, do you mind if I sit here? That, that, is, uh, that question is really common. Whenever you go to a place and you ask for that, right? So do you mind if I sit here? Yeah. So what you need to remember is that whenever we use would you mind, as you can see right here, would you mind, we need to use simple past, if plus the past. And when you use do you mind, we use present. That's what you need to remember, okay? All right, so before continuing, what we're going to do is that we're going to take the survey. Yeah, vamos a tomar la encuesta. Yes, so what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to send the link. Les voy a mandar el link aquí. And I'm going to say this in Spanish, okay? So we can go ahead and, and do it perfect. Yeah, so le voy a mandar el link acá. Necesito que todos la tomen. Todos, todos, todos. Okay, so uh, you have the link, open the link, please. Open the link y, le, y lo vamos a ir haciendo juntos. So it says, ingresa el número completo de la orden. Okay, which is that number? En ese momento se lo voy a enviar al chat. Okay, so el número de la orden is this one. Ese es el número que tiene que ingresar ahí. Copie y pegue. Copy and paste. Ok. Then, you are going to add your full name. Nombre completo. Full name. Ok. Full. Full name. Then your email. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes, Maurice, en el chat de aquí de Zoom, de Zoom. Sí. Número de orden, dice. Sí, eh, el, le mandé el número de orden, 29750-y todo ese número. Copie okay. y pegue. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. After that, you are going to add your full name, your email, your telephone number, please. Your telephone number. Then your cell phone number. Okay. Female or male. You choose. Then your city. Then the name of your company, your company's name. Y cuando veamos por la nueve, vamos a ingresar lo siguiente. Voy a darles un, unos dos minutos para que puedan ingresar toda esa información. Cuando lleguemos a la nueve, please stop, ok, for a while. Cuando ya esté en la nueve, me espera y vamos a hacerlo todos juntos después, para que no nos vayamos a confundir.
Vaya, cuando esté en la 9, le eh, pregunta el nombre del proveedor, ¿ok? Con el cual usted se está capacitando. En este caso, vamos a buscar en la opción, eh, en el menú que se despliega, y vamos a, a buscar inglés corporativo, ¿ok? Regal International, ¿ok? SADCB. ¿Cuál es el nombre del curso? En este momento se lo voy a mandar. El nombre del curso lo tiene que poner así como se lo estoy dando. ¿Ok? Ahí está. Y ese es el nombre del curso. Luego, la número 11, valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso. Eso es personal. ¿Ok? Lo tiene que hacer usted. Voy a darle dos minutos para que continúe con ese campo. Okay. Bien, luego la número 12, ¿en qué fecha inició el curso? Vale, para los que ya no nos recordamos en qué fecha iniciamos, nosotros iniciamos el 13, miren, se lo voy a mandar acá. Ok. 1303-2023. Y luego, ¿en qué fecha finalizó el curso? Le va a poner 2404-2023. Bien. Y luego lo demás, ¿cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso? Es muy personal. Mencione qué otros cursos son de su interés. Puede mencionar si usted eh, quisiera pues estudiar marketing, Excel. ¿tá? Y la número 16, si usted tiene comentarios extra que agregar. Y luego le da a enviar. Cuando usted ya lo haya enviado, le toma un screenshot y lo manda al grupo de WhatsApp con su nombre completo en la screenshot, ¿ok? Con su nombre completo. Thank you, Nelly. Okay, I got two already. Okay, I got three. Okay, I got four, five, six. Okay. Okay, got seven. Okay, eight. Okay, 
Yes, 10. I'm missing some of you. I'm missing eight. Twelve. Okay, I'm missing six. Okay. One. Okay. Let's see. One, two. Thirteen, and we are eighteen. I'm missing five. Okay, Norma, I got Norma. Okay, Karen. Okay, I'm missing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. Uh -huh. I'm missing three, three of you. Okay, I'm missing just two. Who am I missing? Let me see. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Okay, so who am I missing, guys? Who is still pending? Teacher. Teacher. Yes. Eh, no sé si recibiría el mío. Yes. Mauricio Antonio that... Velázquez. Yes, I think that I got yours. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I got yours. Okay. Okay, give me one second.
Yeah, Tatiana, I think that she didn't. Tatiana, are you there? Yes, miss. All right, Tatiana, no estaba aquí cuando tomamos la encuesta, ¿verdad? No, no. Bye. Me sacó ese del Zoom hace como 10 minutos. Bye. Entonces, eh, le mandé el link nuevamente ahí en el chat de Zoom. Dígame si le llegó. Sí, sí, sí. Bye. Entonces, ingrese a ese link. Llame. Vale. Entonces, va, usted va a observar muchas opciones. Vale. Lo primero que le pide es eh, la orden de inicio. Entonces, en la orden de inicio va a colocar ese número que le mandé. Copia y péguelo así exactamente como se lo mandé. Eh, luego va a agregar su nombre completo. Eh, su correo electrónico, su número de celular y bueno, todos los detalles que son personales, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, Luego el departamento de residencia. Cuando ya esté donde dice empresa donde trabaja, la número 8, me confirma. Llame. Bye. Entonces, ahí va a agregar el nombre de su empresa. Luego, el nombre del proveedor va a buscar inglés corporativo. Inglés corporativo, eh, Regal International. ¿Ok? Agrega inglés corporativo. Sí. Bye. En el nombre del curso le va a poner inglés intermedio módulo 1. Así como se lo mandé en el chat. No de lo uh -huh. Luego, la número 11 es para que usted valore los aspectos relativos al curso. ¿Ok? Usted elige. Ok. Bueno, le voy a dar un minuto para que termine eso. Ok. Eh, la fecha de inicio, mis. Sí, vaya. La fecha de inicio es 
2023. Sí. Bueno, y la fecha de finalización es 2404-2023. Sí. Bueno, y luego, eh, 14, 15 y 16 eh, es personal. Gracias. Vaya, cuando, Gracias. Ya termine, cuando ya termine, Tatiana, le toma una captura de pantalla y me manda esa captura al WhatsApp con su nombre completo. Está bien. Gracias, mi. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let's move, guys. Um, let's move and let's continue with um, the information. All right. Um, so as I was explaining to you guys, we use would you mind and do you mind to ask for permission politely, okay? Politely, amablemente, okay? Politely. So when someone asks for permission, we, we, we usually reply no, all right? So meaning I don't mind or I'm happy with that. If we want to say that we are not happy, then we usually begin with I'm afraid. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Okay. So, would you mind if I turn on this light? Recordemos. ¿Te importaría si yo encendiera la luz? Y si usted dice, ah, oh, no. Es decir, no, está bien. ¿Verdad? Pero si usted quiere decir, sí. O sea, no, ¿verdad? No, no, le, no le enciendas. Entonces, tenemos que decir. Would you mind if I turn on this light? Mm, no, it's okay. Yeah, no. La puede encender. But if I don't want, well, I'm afraid uh, I'm sleeping. All right, so no. Yes. I'm afraid y usted tiene que completar su idea. Me temo que no. I'm afraid that no, because I am sleeping and I feel tired. So please do not turn it on. Sí, tiene que dar toda su idea. El por qué no, ¿verdad? Tiene que explicar. You need to explain. Now, how to answer? Si le preguntan, would you mind if I turn on this light? No, not at all. Of course not. No, go on, please. Y aunque sea negativo, pero en realidad es una respuesta positiva. Porque no, no me importaría, lo puede hacer, right? Now, si le preguntan, would you mind if I turn on this light? Y si le importa, you can say, yes, I would. Or I'm afraid that no, because I am really tired and I want to sleep. Okay? Or, do you mind if I sit here? If I sit here, yes, I do. Yeah, those are the possible answers. Yeah, those are the possible answers. Positive or negative. Now, would you mind if I opened the window? ¿Te importaría si abro la ventana? Would you mind if I turn on the fan? ¿Te importaría si enciendo el ventilador? Yeah. Would you mind if I called the supervisor? ¿Te importaría si llamo al supervisor? Yeah. Etc. Etc. So, you are asking for permission. ¿Sí? Aquí está haciéndose bien polite. Está siendo bien amable con esa estructura. ¿Ok? And those are the possible answers. Yeah. Now, we also have would you like or would like. ¿Ok? So, um, Emerson, can you please help us reading this information? Okay, Miss. We use would you like, I would like to say politely what, the, what we want, especially when making over 
offered and request. Where the following would like are in two infinite form. Would you like to listen to that again? Would you like a biscuit with your coffee? With your coffee, okay, thank you. So guys, with would like is basically especially when making offers and requests, right? And when it comes to grammar, would like is always, always, always follow by the infinitive to. Would you like to listen to that again, right? Instead of saying, would you like listening to that again? No, no se puede decir, would you like listening? Siempre va a ser like to. O, would you like a biscuit with your coffee? Si ustedes se fijan, es un verbo. Biscuit no es un verbo. Es un noun. Es galleta. Yes. Pero cuando sea verbo, tiene que ser siempre con el to. To listen, to eat. Would you like to eat salad? Would you like to go to the beach? Would you like to play with me? Would you like to finish that report? Yeah, etc. With would like. Mm -hmm. When you are making offers and requests. Yes. Yeah. And how to answer? ¿Cómo puede responder? Mire, on this one, guys, um, it's important to mention the following. Okay. So we can use it in positive, negative, and questions. I would like some coffee. He wouldn't like a sandwich. Would you like some water? Se puede utilizar positiva, negativa, pregunta. But the most common one is going to be the question. The most common one. The question. Yeah. Would you like some water? Yes, I would. Would you like some water? Yes, please. Would you like some water? Yes, thanks. Would you like some water? Sure, please. Would you like some water? Sure, thanks. Would you like some water? Mm, no, thanks. Would you like some water? Mm, that's all right. Okay. Would you like some water? Mm, that's okay. Yeah. Different uh, ways of uh, to answer, right? Not just yes, no, no. Hay muchas formas de responder. Mm -hmm. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear. No? Okay. So if not, what I need to do is the following. I need to create one question using this structure, ING. Would you mind and do you mind? This one, the first one. La primera que acabamos de estudiar. Okay. Create one question. I mean, two. Okay. Una con would you mind y la otra con do you mind. Invent. Invente cualquier cosa. And send them to the chat. Y me lo envía al chat. Please. Let me see. Um, Tatiana. Hi, Miss. Pudo eh, tomarle la screenshot a la encuesta. Ya la mandé al, al grupo de, de WhatsApp. Ah, ahorita va cayendo. Pensé sí. que había caído. 
Okay, no, ya, ya, ya vi. Thank you. Okay. Do you mind? Would you mind taking my order, please? Uh huh. Do you mind driving now? Ah, uh, now, now, without K, Juan. Uh, yeah. Would you mind buying the dinner, please? Do you mind playing with your cousin, please? Would you mind? Okay. Okay. Would you mind if... Okay, Carla, would you mind... You are using this structure, right? This one. So, it should be, would you mind if I ate this chocolate? If I ate, ate, mm -hmm. would you mind opening, 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 opening? Mm -hmm. Would you mind stepping back a couple of places? Mm, okay. Would you mind if I ate? Simple past eight, 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 eight. Do you mind? Oh, I think that you, you missed that, the, the bird, Carlos. Yeah. Uh, would you mind repeating it? Would you mind helping me? Yeah. Would you mind passing me, passing my computer? Okay. Let's see. Um, okay, guys, let's continue. Do you have any question or any doubt? Something that is not clear? No? Okay. So let's move. Would you mind putting those plates down? Okay. But in this case, it's plural. Those plates. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, guys. Let's do something, okay? Let's take the grammar quiz, okay? The grammar one. Bye, guys. This is going to be the last quiz, okay, um, for grammar. In this one, it measures your skills, okay? Ese, sí, um, le va a dar a usted un, I mean, okay, that is the code, uh, grammar, okay? Todas las preguntas que vienen en este examen son de temas que ustedes eh, ya vieron, okay, que ya vimos, etcétera. Entonces, si le va a dar un, un um, como un, el score que se tenga es como un, un placement test, ¿ok? Para que usted se vaya dando cuenta cómo va con el idioma. Ese sí mide, eh, las preguntas mide la mayor parte de todos los temas que usted ha visto a lo largo de básico y que se entran a internet, ¿ok? So, go ahead and take it, please. Ok, tómelo. Ya. Yeah. Uh, think about the, the answers, piense sus respuestas, y tiene 20 preguntas. It has 20 questions. Okay.
una, una pregunta. En, yes. en, en, en donde tenemos que hacer oraciones, uh, o sea, to, que nosotros vamos a escribirlo, este, vamos a colocar punto final o no. Yes. Yes. It's necessary to the point, the period. In the period, yes, it is. Mm Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm still missing some of you, okay? We are going to give a couple of minutes.
Okay. All right, I think that you all finished. Let me see. Okay, guys. Um, um, probably some of the things that I need to mention um, about this quiz is basically, I can see that you, most of you, right, got number seven incorrect which verb forms are in the simple past. Some of you just, uh, you chose just one and it says select three. It says select three, so you should have selected three, not one. Then another thing that I'm noticing right now is um, which number two, which sentence is in the simple past? Most of you, added she reads a book but that is not simple past that is simple present it is simple present so the simple past is going to be she read a book mm -hmm. now another thing that i need to mention is number three it says, my family goes to France every summer or my family go to France. Okay, so um, my family is going to always be third person, even though it is a group of people, but this is a collective noun. Es un nombre colectivo. Okay, y entonces siempre, la mayor parte del tiempo es siempre como tercera persona. Entonces, goes. Uh, and maybe the other one that I see that you fail, uh, it was, let me see, uh, number 17. Some of you added drive, but Alberto is a third person. Mm -hmm. So if it is a third person, right there. Uh, number 16. Um, algunos de ustedes lo escribieron relativamente bien. Pero algunos de ustedes no le pusieron el punto. Entonces, si se no le pone el punto, es incorrecto. Porque recuerde que todas las oraciones se terminan con un punto y final. Siempre, 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 toda su vida, que no se le olvide, ¿ok? Para que su gramática mejore. Eh, y bueno, basically that's pretty much. Y tal vez únicamente mencionar la número 20, que dice, I enjoy a space out two or three times a week. Bien, eso lo van a ir viendo más adelante. Sin embargo, Eh, eso tiene que ver con los gerundios y los infinitivos. Enjoy es un verbo que siempre va a ir, el verbo que le sigue a enjoy siempre toda la vida va a ser un gerundio, nunca un infinitivo. Ok, entonces I enjoy eating. Si usted puso I enjoy to eat, es incorrecto porque es gerundio, siempre, toda la vida. Esas son reglas que van a ir aprendiendo, pero no está de más eh, decírselas, ¿ok? Bueno. Ok, very good. Mm, I can see that most of you got good scores, so don't worry, ¿ok? I think that you are on the, on the correct track, right? So just keep studying, keep studying, ¿ok? So let's talk about advertising, advertising and promotion. Yeah, advertising and promotion. Okay, so we have different type of advertising, guys. 
Uh, we have banner ads, we have billboards, we have brochures bulk, we have mailing, we also have classified ads, cold calling, commercials, flyers, neon signs, paper, uh, paper click ads, pop-up ads, pre-roll ads, product endorsement, product placement, shop displays, and word of mouth. Yes. What is the meaning of billboards? What are billboards? We see billboards every single day. Well, if you work from home, probably no, okay? But if you work in an office, yes. Billboards? <laughs> Uh, yes, billboards are las vallas publicitarias. Las vallas que vemos. A eso se le llama billboards. Ok. Um, ok, let me see. What else? Well, um, we also have the pre-roll ads, the pop-up ads, the pay-per-click ads. This is just on the internet, right? The pay-per-click ads. Si se han fijado que unas páginas eh, tienen para que usted pueda eh, dar clic en, en ciertos advertisements, right? En algunos como anuncios, usted le da clic porque le sale en una página y le, le llama la atención, le da clic y la dirige a otra página. Eso se le llama el pay-per-click ads. Um, the word of mouth, which is the really common one, right? La publicidad de boca en boca. Word of mouth. Advertising. La publicidad de boca en boca. That I think that is the, the, the best one. Sometimes the best um, type of advertising, I don't know what you think, guys, but in my case, I think that sometimes the best type of advertising is word of mouth. Because, I mean, people will tell you, yeah, I liked it, or no, I didn't, right? Sometimes, right? Sometimes, sometimes, yes? Types of advertising, yeah? Okay, so let's see, guys. Let's match the words to the picture. What is number one? What is number one? What is number one? How do we call picture number one in English? Business card. Yes, this is a business card, okay? So if you use una tarjeta de presentación, that's how we call it in Spanish, right? It is a business card, yeah? So what about this one? What is this? This is... A brochure. Yes. What about this one? Uh -huh. Flyer. This is a flyer. Okay. What is number four? Word of mouth. Of course, right? Number five. A billboard. And the last one. Number six. Cold calling. So which of these types of, of marketing does your company use, guys? Which of these type of adver advertising, of marketing? Mm -hmm. Brochure, billboard, Flyer, business cards, cold calling, word of mouth. Which one? Mm -hmm. None.
Me cuento muy difícil buscar. Which one? Number one. The business card. Yes. That one is really, really useful. And I think that that one is um one of the most common ones. The business card, right? The flyer as well and the brochure. Well, most of them, right? I think that most of them are really common at the workplace. Most of them, right? <laughs> okay. So right now we are going to um, move, okay, to different rooms and in pairs, we are going to read the statements below, guys, and you are going to discuss whether you agree with them or not. Yeah, for example, number one, it says, word of mouth is the most effective form of advertising. Do you agree or not? Why? You need to speak about this, all right? So pre-roll ads are very annoying for the viewer, but effective for businesses, okay? Commercials are a waste of money. What do you think about that? Do you think that commercials are a waste of money on the TV? Well, I would say that mm, could be because most of the time, well, it depends, right? It depends on the type of advertising because most of the time people are not watching TV. People are on their cell phones. So commercials, most of the time are for the TV. Well, pop-up ads are very distracting, okay? Billboard ads are only effective for certain types of businesses. Yes. Yes, it could be. Okay, las vallas publicitarias. Yes, of course. I think that son efectivas únicamente para cierto tipo de negocios. But I don't know if you think the same, right? Call calling is an old-fashioned of marketing in a waste of time. What do you think about that, guys? Cold calling. Because some, some companies still do it, right? So ellos hacen llamadas y venden a través de cold calling. Okay? Es la llamada que le hacen a veces a usted que le ofrecen productos. Ese es un cold calling. So I don't think that is an old-fashioned uh, of marketing, okay? Yo no creo eso. But I don't know if you think that yes, it is old fashioned, right? So number seven, pay-per-click ads are the most effective form of advertising, okay? Los, los pequeños anuncios que le salen en las diferentes páginas donde usted anda navegando. Classified ads in newspaper don't work anymore. I think that this one, yes, I agree. Okay, ya los clasificados, ya, well, at least, uh, that's what I think, right? That's what I think. They don't work anymore. That's what I think. I don't know if you think probably something different, right? But I think that they don't work anymore because we have social media. But some people still buy newspaper, right? To find uh, different type of options. I don't know. But I think that they don't work anymore. So we're going to discuss about this maybe just for uh, five to, yeah, five minutes. Okay, and then we're going to come back, okay? Um, all right. The same.
Cabal. Eso, mierda. Bueno, okay. pensamos igual. Bueno, ah. en la primera dice: I work of mouth is the most effective for as a person. For me, no effective because uh, it's, it's very low. Low is low. ¿Verdad? Para llegar la información de persona a persona es muy lento. Por mí. ¿En you? En mi opinión, es no. No good. Es por advertising. Because mm -hmm. uh, word of mouth changes idea. Mm -hmm. The second role of our very in Nayoyan for the ¿Qué puede, puede decir que es muy anticuado? For the youth, but effective for business. Of the, eh, pasamos a la dos. El parole. Ajá, parole. Y eso fue dijo que era eh, eh, los anuncios parole. Un ejemplo de eso, los free roll ads eh, son básicamente los anuncios que le salen a ustedes. Se han fijado cuando están en YouTube y el video está corriendo y de repente le sale un anuncio mm. porque no tiene un yeah, YouTube yeah. Premium. Entonces, yeah. entonces esos anuncios que ellos introducen en YouTube o en Facebook en ocasiones, esos pequeñitos anuncios se llaman pre roll ads. Yeah. Y ta, también cuando está utilizando, okay. digamos, el, el Spotify, eh, hay anuncios. Esos son los pre-roll ads, que son muy, algunas okay. ocasiones son bien annoying, right? Uh -huh. Porque tal vez está concentrado usted y, y pues, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Ok. Ahí bueno. sale. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. It's functional okay. because uh, into in how do you say? The announcer enters through the eyes and it looks like you're obligado. Okay, so the advertising. Um, okay, the advertising goes through your site. Entra por su, sí, por su vista, right? Por la vista. For your site. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. um, okay, could be. Okay. Yes. Dice que el commercial are a waste of money. Uh -huh. Los comerciales. Mm, pérdida de dinero. Dice. Mm. Uh 
Mm -hmm. I think they are not a waste of money because um, the idea uh, into the right, the view. The view, okay. Okay. Well, um, it's... Uh, uh -huh. uh, Pop up eh, son los emergentes. Los emergentes, correcto. Ah. Los emergentes. Los que le aparecen de la nada. Ah. Esos anuncios. Are very yeah. I can't say the, the papas. <laughs> <laughs> ok. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. Sí. Is the very distraction. It is, they are distracted, right? They are distracted. They are distracted. Yes, they are distracting. Could be, could be, could be. Silver apps, very only effective for silver time. Mm -hmm. Esto dijo que son las vallas publicitarias, ¿verdad? Decirlo. Ah. Correct. Mm. I think no. No. Because no, because uh, uh, when I drive in the the street, yes, the, I see the is a bias or the billboards the billboard uh, more or less they call your say important medicine or okay pharmacy uh, pharmacy pharma, pharma, pharma. the the pharmacy or the drugstore Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, I think you take all your attention, Maurice. For you, those are really useful. They call your attention. Okay, that's fine. I focus mm -hmm. on the role and I don't see them. <laughs> Me too, Pablo. So that is true. <laughs> yes, that's what I think as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah, okay, yes. Okay, let me see. All right, guys, so I'm going to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance, but let me wait for the other ones to join. Let me wait for the other ones. Okay. I think that, yes, okay. I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So please say present. Um, Carlos Alberto Castro Santana, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez, Carlos Vladimir. I saw Carlos, okay. Claudia Maria Guerrero. Present. Thank you, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mm, okay, Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Present, present. Okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Yes. Present, miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Karen. Carla Sofía Argueta. Okay, Karen, I did that. Let's see. All right. Uh, Carla Sofia Argueta Chévez. Present. 
Thank you. Um, Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodriguez. Marina Jensi Sandoval. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Maurice. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. All right, thank you. Um, okay. Norma Patricia de Arrué. Okay. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Present me. Thank you. Wendy Maricela. Ramírez. Okay. Thank you. Jonathan Roberto García Almendares. Jonathan? Present. All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. So now let's see the listening, okay? Let's see the listening quiz. Um, let me uh, let me get the, the link, okay? Let me get the link. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, uh, there you go. And the passcode is listening, okay? Listen. All right, so let me know once you are in so I can play the recording. I'm, I'm going to play it um, three times, okay? Three times. Okay, you ready? Ready, miss. Okay. All right, guys. So here we go. Hey, Brandon, what are you doing? Oh, you'll like this. It's a new website that helps you improve your writing skills for free really yeah and that'd I, be really helpful yeah and i'm signing up right now wow let me see that yeah it's easy you just enter your name your birthday your address your bank information what? your credit card wait, number wait, wait, wait. what I thought you said it was free it is free then why do they need your bank and your credit card information well you know it's just you know just me just to check your identity or something like that. But it, but it's all free. What? It doesn't sound very free to me. No, you don't understand. No, this sounds pretty fishy to me. How do you know that this is a trusted website? Look, that doesn't look like a secure URL. Well, you don't understand. Look, it says right here on their page, right here. Our goal is help you learn. Trusting us. We knows how to help you in 15 <laughs> days or, or below. What? <laughs> What? That's terrible English. <laughs> Who wrote this? What country are they in? You need to help them with their English. I mean, this is a sure sign that they're trying to probably steal your personal information no. and your identity. No, no, no. And look, here is a picture of some of their staff. And they look honest. Hey, hey you are so gullible. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm shutting down your computer. I can't watch my own brother fall for a scam like this. Oh, you just don't understand. Okay, here we go again. Hey, Brandon, what are you doing? Oh, you'll like this. It's a new website that helps you improve your writing skills for free. Really? Yeah. And That'd I, be really helpful. Yeah, and I'm signing up right now. Wow, let me see that. Yeah, it's easy. You just enter your name, your birthday, your address, your bank information, what? your credit card wait, number. Wait, 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 wait. What? I thought you said it was free. It is free. Then why do they need your bank and your credit card information? Well, you know, it's just, you know, just just to check your identity or something like that. But it, but it's all free. <sighs> what? It doesn't sound very free to me. No, you don't understand. No, this sounds pretty fishy to me. How do you know that this is a trusted website? Look, that doesn't look like a secure URL. Well, you don't understand. Look, it says right here on their page, right here. Our goal is help you learn. Trusting us, we knows how to help you in 15 <laughs> days or, or below. What? 
What? That's terrible English. <laughs> Who wrote this? What country are they in? You need to help them with their English. I mean, this is a sure sign that they're trying to probably steal your personal information no. and your identity. No, no, no. And look, here is a picture of some of their staff. And they look honest. Hey, hey you are so gullible. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm shutting down your computer. I can't watch my own brother fall for a scam like this. Oh, you just don't understand. Okay, the last time. Hey, Brandon, what are you doing? Oh, you'll like this. It's a new website that helps you improve your writing skills for free. Really? Yeah. And That'd I, be really helpful. Yeah, and I'm signing up right now. Wow, let me see that. Yeah, it's easy. You just enter your name, your birthday, your address, your bank information, what? your credit card wait, number. Wait, 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 wait. What? I thought you said it was free. It is free. Then why do they need your bank and your credit card information? Well, you know, it's just, you know, just just to check your identity or something like that. But it, But it's all free. What? It doesn't sound very free to me. No, you don't understand. No, this sounds pretty fishy to me. How do you know that this is a trusted website? Look, that doesn't look like a secure URL. Well, you don't understand. Look, it says right here on their page, right here. Our goal is help you learn. Trusting us, we knows how to help you in 15 <laughs> days or, or below. What? <laughs> What? That's terrible English. <laughs> Who wrote this? What country are they in? You need to help them with their English. I mean, this is a sure sign that they're trying to probably steal your personal information no. and your identity. No, no, no. And look, here is a picture of some of their staff. And they look honest. Hey, hey you are so gullible. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I'm shutting down your computer. I can't watch my own brother fall for a scam like this. Oh, you just don't understand. Okay. So let me see. Okay. All right, very good guys. Um Okay. So now um Okay, so let's finish with some vocabulary, okay? It says, a smart and polite ways to say that you don't understand, okay? Um, this is very important. Es bien importante, guys, okay? Cuando usted no entienda o no comprenda algo o quiera que alguien le repita algo, okay? En lugar de decir, what? Que es lo más común a veces que decimos what? ¿Ok? Pero eso no es profesional. Si usted dice what, eso no. ¿Puede decir excuse me? ¿Or sorry? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Or this one, I beg your pardon? ¿Ya? Yeah. Para que la otra persona le, le repita nuevamente. Utilícelo en sus clases. ¿All right? Cuando usted no comprenda algo, diga excuse me. ¿Sorry? ¿Ok? En lugar de what. Okay, or excuse me, I didn't catch you. Eso es más completo. Excuse me, I didn't catch you. Could you repeat that again, please? Yeah, excuse me, I didn't catch you. Could you repeat that again, please? Yeah, so now stop using yes, right? Stop use, using yes. Puedo utilizar diferentes frases, como las que vemos acá. All right. Okie dokie, which is really common. All righty. Sure thing. Todo eso significa yes. Yeah. Yep. Yay. Yeah. Yep. Yes. All right. Total. Totes. Totes is an abbreviation of totally. Totes. Totally totes. Sure. You bet. Certainly. Definitely. Of course. And gladly. Right? Instead of using yes, in lugar solamente de decir yes, utilize estos. Okay? Use those. Yes. 
Um, let's see. Help me reading those phrases, um, Emerson. All of them. The play, play to how will you? No bad, all right, good, exhausted, okay, frustrate, busy, straight up, I'll be there, pretty good, I am alive. Alive, okay. So reply to how are you guys, en lugar de eh, solamente decir good, okay, cuando le preguntan how are you, puede decir not bad, all right, good, exhausted, okay, frustrated, busy, stressed out, estresado, stressed out. I've been better, he estado mejor. Pretty good, muy bien. I'm alive, estoy vivo, ¿verdad? Cuando dice, bueno, por lo menos hay vida, right? I'm alive, okay, yes. Instead of using just good, ¿sí? Um, empieza a utilizar estas frases, ¿ok? En, su, en sus respuestas, ¿all right? Well, guys, we are going to stop right here just because of the time. I really thank you, ¿ok? For being part of this module, ¿ok? I hope you continue learning. Please study a lot, ¿all right? Estudie, estudie, porque yo sé que todos tienen el potencial. You all have the potential to reach your goal, ¿ok? La meta es que usted logre aprender el idioma y que lo hable bien, ¿ok? Push yourself, ¿ok? Push yourself because it's the only way. La única manera que usted lo puede hablar es que usted mismo se rete. Si usted no se reta, no lo va a lograr si no tiene disciplina. Be disciplined, ¿ok? So thank you very much, guys. It was my pleasure being your teacher through this module and I hope to see you again, ¿ok? So take care. All right. Bye, Thank you, teacher. Thank, Thank you. you for your patience. You. We hope to see you again. Thank you. All right. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank bye. you, teacher. Bye. 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 Pues me da error y ya lo he hecho de muchas formas y eh, bueno, ese ya se había reportado en el grupo. Ok. Entonces, yes, eh, sí, sí, es que lo reportamos, pero supongo que todavía están trabajando en él, Nelly. Eh, para serle honesta, eso pues eh, básicamente se encarga eh, un área específica de arreglar pues esos inconvenientes con la plataforma. Entonces sí, ya se, ya se reportó. Sin embargo, si todavía pues, le sigue dando error, no lo han solventado. Eh, de hecho, pues voy a volver a reportarlo, pero en este momento, pues usted no se preocupe, ¿verdad? Porque ya el reporte de, de las notas y todo, pues ya, ya eh, lo vieron ellos. Entonces, eh, sí lo vamos a reportar nuevamente, pero no creería que se solvente el día de mañana. Bueno. Ok, thank you. All right. Yes, okay. So, lo mismo. Okay, Carla. Okay. Thank you. Good night, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you.